What up guys, the Fighting Therapist here, and we are six days out from the fight. And for today, Devin pretty much did his six rounds of three minutes of sparring. I see a lot in the comments from the last video, people talking about his arms, his extension, the little time that he had to train for the fight, his cardio. So I wanted to go through his timeline of how much time we actually had to train him and where that big difference is for me seeing him on his first sparring session and sparring with him to his last sparring session, which was today. So I met Devin roughly four weeks ago. Firaz Sahabi sent me a text message asking me to come into the gym to do some sparring with some person. I got to meet him and then Firas in introduced us to each other. Found out who he was, found out what he does, and saw where his first initial conditioning was. And Firas had him on a nice plan for two weeks. I actually got sick and I didn't see Devin for a full week. The week after I came back, and this is a week before we left, sparred with him again, already saw a big improvement in just cardio, endurance, lasting some type of punching abilities and movement and then with a couple of guys at tristar so not just me you had javad you had mustafa you had this other guy named jack another guy named james all tall really big really stocky guys so it was like a nice variety for devin got to see him spar with them got to see how he was moving a week later devin asked me and Fures offered, hey Zach, do you want to go with Devin? Devin said, Zach, would love for you to come with me. Next you know, we're here in Dubai and then I'm just helping him finish off his last camp, finishing his last kind of sparring together and really just try to tighten up as much as we can work with for this fight. Now, for anyone that's not in the sport, there's like a lot that you have to take into consideration here. The fact that he can't extend his arm, yes, that's a big factor. So trying to find a game plan to work with that that's where we're trying to go. Whatever the scenario, whatever the person's condition, you always need to find the best way to work with what they have. So with Devin, there's a lot of stuff that we have to take into consideration, but there's also a lot of stuff that Devin can do super well, especially having this type of frame. He can parry really quick. He's very used to this motion. He can tie up really well. He's very good with that motion. Uppercuts and hooks, really close combat fights are really good. And then Devin actually isn't really that bad at slipping. Timing is a huge factor and it's definitely not gonna be great in five weeks or actually four weeks because he got the notice five weeks ago and only came down to TriStar in Montreal on like the fourth week. And in my experience, when I used to fight the heavier weight classes, there's certain strategies you're gonna wanna do and certain scenarios where you'll be stuck in. And those are some of the tactics that we wanna to try to prioritize and have Devin rep it out and rep it out as many times as he can. Since Devin does have a lot of history being in the armed forces, repetition is very common for them and doing as many reps as possible, knowing it as well as possible, it's only gonna happen through time and practice which is something that Thor has a huge advantage over. But nonetheless, we're just trying to work with what Devin has, and this is the footage I'm gonna go through right now. So to start things off, we started with two rounds of shadow. Again, the focus was just to work on movement, moving in a circle, coming back and forth, working those combos, working those slips and those weaves. After that, we went straight into sparring. Six rounds, three minutes. The big difference between the training that Devin's doing versus the fighter that he's gonna be fighting, which is Thor, is he's fighting a guy that can push up the pace on him that is a lot quicker that can move more so that intensity and that stress when you're ring and you see a guy that's just going to come and move on you Devin actually improved dramatically in that from not being able to handle it so well in the first couple of weeks to handling it pretty well towards the end of the week he's finally learning how to uppercut how to hook how to jab how to slip after a punch how to parry and punch had a parry and slip. He's taking damage and he's also standing there and taking it, coming back. And the, one of the great things is that we're really trying to practice on breathing. One of the biggest things, right before you even enter the ring, you're already gassed. Nerves come in, you're very stressed. Once you get that first punch, that breathing, once you put yourself in a very stressful situation and you hold your breath in, that's where a lot of the fatigue sets in. So teaching Devin how to breathe properly, especially in between that one minute round that we have a great amount of time to lower his heart rate and allow him to recover as properly as he can so that he can go again and give it all he has for that next round. Once we finish all that sparring, six minutes, three rounds, really working all that technique of the breathing, we went straight to the bag and finished with two rounds of slipping and coming in with a jab and a right. And then on the other bag, he came in, so on the water bag, we went for slip uppercuts and we also went for overhand right and hooks. Again, trying to utilize what Devin has atomically and where he's at. We're just trying to utilize that to the best that we can. No matter how this goes, honestly, just meeting Devin and seeing him push through, it was 
great and I'm really happy for him. He came a very long way. And we, myself and Fures and the team at TriStar that was there helping him train, the guys that he sparred with, trying to give him the best tools that we can with what he has so that when it comes to the fight night, he has those disposable to him so he can implement them as best that he can. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing Devin spar a little bit, a little bit of movement. I know a lot of people commented in the last video that Devin hasn't posted anything about his training, hasn't seen any sparring. So these little clips that are in here, they're all approved by Devin, he said okay. They're all approved by the organization as well. There's a fight on Saturday, so we're not trying to show too much. I just want you guys to kind of see what was the reasoning, what we're working on and how we're trying to develop Devin as best as possible so he has the greatest chance to do the best that he can on Saturday. But that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys know when these videos come out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.